Well, hello everybody. Welcome back. Josh here with Josh's Lawn and Landscape. I'm in uh, my review spot. I think I'm going to use this spot back here at the back of the shop to do reviews from time to time. So, uh, welcome back to the channel. I want to thank everybody for all the support, uh, all the recent videos. Uh, I got good viewership. I appreciate all that. Good feedback, comments, everything. Again, pretty always appreciate the support. Um, I would like to say thank you for helping me surpass the 1200 subscriber mark. So I uh, did that just a couple of days ago. Uh, so thank y'all for that. Um, but what I'm going to get into here and now is a review. Um, and as y'all know, uh, here we go. I bought a Skag V-Ride 2. Uh, this is a 52 inch cut. Um, this has the FT730 Kawasaki. This is the carbureted version, not the EFI. Uh, so this one I believe is rated for 24 horsepower, whereas the EFI is rated for 26. Um, so, um, I've got... I want to call this a five hour review, but I've got seven hours on the mower. So um, it had two tenths of an hour on it when I got it. So I've basically put seven hours on the machine. Um, so first impressions, obviously, um, I've stated before that uh, it's, it's a nice machine. Skag's reputation speaks for itself. Uh, very comfortable um, enjoy really like the padding here um, good support on the platform um, it's spring supported and it has two uh, rubber supports or mounts there on the bottom so um, very very good ride um, excellent uh, view point of view from the mower so if I'm standing up here this is kind of my point of view so as you can see I can see right down to the front of the mower um, nothing really much out of field of view till it goes under the mower so you can see right up to the front um, so very comfortable very well built machine um, it has a very good cut quality as Skag is noted for with the Velocity Plus, plus deck. Um, so, again, the Kawasaki engine, which I like. A couple of things that I am currently, I say currently, um, I'm not the biggest fan of, but uh, maybe some things I can tweak. Uh, the front caster wheels. Um, I believe these are um, uh, no flat solids kind of tires on the front. Uh, my opinion, I think they're a little small, and I say more so for the width. And with them being flat, with the flat surface, the edges of the tire, if you hit uneven spots sometimes in the yard, the tire tends to grab and jump and it spins around real fast um, and sometimes it can just make the front go a little wonky or whatever term you want to use um, so just something a little quirk there but over, it's still a good ride um, something I've already gotten used to but like I said I do like the larger semi round um, the casters like on the uh, on the Z-Track more than I do these but again small thing and the rear tires are I think 23 I believe these are 23 they may be 24 uh, but they're nine and a half wide and I think just judging by this that you could get away with a uh, a 12 wide I know 
Uh, I think I've seen a video from a gentleman that is a Skag dealer that has swapped these tires just directly out. You don't have to do any spacers or anything, to my knowledge, for a set of 12 inch wide tires, which I think would be better for stability. But again, small thing, I'm not going to go through going back and trying to purchase rims and tires and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I've already been on the sketchiest heel uh, that I have, and it did a good job on that, so these will do for now. Um, and just as a side note, these are, I believe, listed as a 7-inch rim, and the 12-inch tires require an 8.5-inch minimum width uh, rim, according to the gentleman at the tire place. So, um... So just two little things, like I said, that I'm not the biggest fan of, but definitely not deal breakers. So I'm trying to get this in. As you can see, it's getting dark. There's your Sky Shot Bill. Shout out to Wild Bill. Wild Bill's Lawn Care. Check him out. Um, so all the pluses. Good comfortable pad. Um, good comfortable platform. Good ride. Um, this has an 8-gallon... I believe capacity fuel tank so uh, good fuel capacity for this one versus the quick track which was I think five and a half gallons so get some more out of this um, I do like again certain other things visibility and accessibility wise is fuel gauge right there within view uh, versus I think I mentioned previously in the bad boy that I had um, where you had the slot or circle here that you had to look straight down into to see the gauge was on top of the tank so that's different um, parking brake easily accessible so just off and on pretty easy um, this is the deck release handle so this is I more like this style where you just push and let it down and then you pull it up it locks in place so it's a pretty stout uh, to have to lift it but um, I'm about 190 pounds so gotta put a little pull to it um, key uh, throttle PTO choke uh, you have a 12 volt outlet here if you need need it for that um, it has obviously the uh, tiger eye uh, system here so you got your notifications when the park breaks off. You can see park neutral when you set it. It's on when you step off. You can see the top one there and the operator um, presence. When you step back on, it comes back on. So uh, good stuff there. Um, easily reachable grips here the way these are this has the pump and motors versus the uh, transaxles like was on the bad boy which I think I've mentioned some of this stuff before but um, these are set very well sometimes they have to be adjusted from the factory um, I've heard some people say but these seem to be adjusted very very well um, here's your deck height adjustment uh, just a pin pin lock just flip it pull it out set it back on your height that you want slide through and let it drop uh, pretty easy there um, trying to think of some other things um, there's a number of options for the I believe this is actually 2023 because I th uh, they actually don't have the manual for the 23 model on the website yet but the 2022s are and the reason i say this is a 23 is because this is a carbureted kawasaki ft engine and i don't know if you can see it um but there's a serial number or model number right there um but the model number there has the uh svr2 dash whatever and they see the 24 ft on the end there we go uh that serial number does not 
come up as an option to select for a manual now um, I have looked at the newest 2022 manual and everything is pretty much identical for the 52 inch V-Ride but this engine is not listed for the 2022 versions it has the FT 730V EFI which is a 26 FT instead of a 24 FT on the model number so um, accessibility to everything seems to be great um, from what I can tell all filters here batteries here uh, blade bolts there uh, this one has the um, pulley or deck cover here you can loosen these two uh, hold downs here and this plate right here comes off um, very sturdily built like I said uh, everything is pretty easily accessible um, you've got your fuel shut off here and this uh, pad comes off pretty easy you've got uh, a knob here and here that if you just back them off these turn in opposite directions so uh, this one in order to tighten it turns this way so obviously righty tighty so loosely it turns forward on the opposite side in order to loosen this knob it turns backwards so that one comes loose and that one on there pretty snug and then it turns back to the front of the mower to tighten it so just remember righty tighty lefty loosey you'll be able to get it off and then also this kick plate here has two uh, hold downs or hold ons here that take loose and get that off and you can get to everything in here so if I loosen this up we'll show you this real quick I'm running out of daylight Ronaldo just get them loose and this pad uh, hold on I'm gonna try to do this actually lifts straight up off of there and you can access the hydraulic tank and there's the top of the hydros if you take that kick plate off obviously you can get all the way into um, ooh, sorry, all the way into the hydros down here so I say pretty easily accessible for um, service um, ooh. all right just making sure I get everything back on home track don't need it flying off going down the road <laughs> on the new mower um, I actually just filled this mower up um, I got about six I probably would have got roughly about seven between seven and eight hours out of it because it still had close uh, between an eighth and a quarter of a tank uh, when I went on ahead and filled it up so um, for a carb engine versus the EFI I know somebody's going to talk about fuel economy but um, yeah so that's most everything about it. Uh, multiple grease points on this. Um, all of these, uh, like there's one here, there. Uh, they're on the back as well. Um, right here on the front of this. And then there's one on the other side. Um, so there's uh, grease fittings on each of the caster wheels, actually on the shaft here for the bearings. And um, a couple of other places. So fuel filter easily accessible here. Um, air filter right here on top. Um, that's about it uh, for this so far. This initial review. Uh, like I said, I got about seven hours on it. And I think it's going to be a good one. So 2023 Skag V-Ride 2, uh, 24 horsepower uh, Kawasaki, 52 inch cut, velocity deck. Um, not much else I can say. It's a Skag, it's a nice mower. Um, so 
I won't lie, had they had a brand new, a brand new uh, quick track with the 730 Kawasaki engine, which would have been the FX series, just like the one I sold, had they had a brand new one of those, I probably would have gotten that, but um, just so worked out with the issues I had with the bad boy that I got this machine. Um, I've thought about getting one before. I demoed one previously, so, um, hey, it's a Skag, it's a solid machine, good quality, uh, everybody knows about them, and so, yeah, that's my thoughts on it, uh, let me know, I know there's a bunch of people out there that I follow, that I've watched, that have, uh, V-Rides, some of, some people have the 61s, uh, some people have 48s or 36s, um, but very nice machine, loving it so far. Um, my five slash seven hour uh, initial review. So um, I'll try to get some mowing footage with this maybe tomorrow afternoon and uh, let y'all see what it does. So y'all let me know y'all's thoughts down below. Um, and appreciate y'all watching. Thank you for all the support. As always, y'all be safe, be kind, be blessed, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks, everybody.